Danger Boy gets patriotic on the podium, and the industry panics. Hey, everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to um, package today. Danger Boy getting a little extra dangerous. Listen, here's the reality. This is so shocking to me. Shame, shame, shame on the industry for having a little, a little freaking problem with danger boy being paid last time i checked even though sometimes it's hard to tell we're still america this whole woke agenda we've warned about this and let me just let's make no mistake about this my friends the industry this is a love hate relationship with an ex industry insider walty blowing the lid off the industry and doing a little whistleblowing listen we need to save the industry and the realities are it's been watered down manufactured bubble gum content creation now is our whole flipping industry it's insanity and so it is kind of ironic i did see our good friend my boy my boy i rarely say that but gonna say it cooksy he's given some pushback he's given some pushback man and good on him you know but here's the realities i've talked about this from the start danger boy is going to be targeted by the industry to be the little bit of the dark night Well, Wonder Boy Jetson will be the the white knight. Of the industry. They are looking at this now courtesy of channels like this. Giving some real talk. The truth is usually somewhere in the middle. You know, I don't necessarily want to be doom and gloom, but I don't want to be rainbows and sunshine. Our job is to be somewhere in the middle. If that's you, please jump on board, subscribe, jump over to Walty Wanders MX on Insta, get in the community page here, participate in the polling. We're gonna we're gonna shake up the industry. We already are. We already are. It's on. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your seats, hold on to your hats, hold on to your glasses. We are going to shake this thing up. But I thought it was kind of interesting because I don't know if m many of you know. So I was got my start basically with Triple X. Long time with Triple X, worked in the office handling all the day to day of our sales and a lot of our race team duties. And I remember Mathis, he ne we never met face to face that I can remember, maybe at a race or two. He was the wrench for Nick Way when he came through Triple X. A lot of riders came through Triple X because it was the biggest privateer team on the face of the earth. And we, we had to bulldoze our way in. And actually, when I started, it was with another clothing brand, a controversial clothing brand that attached to a controversial sports team. And we had a lot of fun in the industry. Even a lot of us were straight edge. And we still had fun. Because this is an extreme sport. But I think Kick Cooks, and like I said, so I remember Mathis calling in a lot and be like, oh, is Jay there? Jay was one of our filmers for the Triple X series, went on to do On the Pipe, but he did a lot of the Moto Triple X videos working under our boss, Kurt. In terms of, tra he was the main filmer, and then Jay was an assistant, and then Jay eventually was a filmer. But the reality is, I remember Mathis would call... Jay, there, can I talk to Jay? Mainly looking for swag, I'm sure. And not, I didn't know... I don't know Mathis. I think he's a great reporter. But we've all put our foot in our mouth occasionally. So apparently this... is, And I saw... And I didn't even read the whole thing because it was like, oh my God. So apparently now he's trying to explain himself on why he didn't think Danger Boy should have been saying what he said on the podium, which was, in fact, something, not verbatim, was, you know, I needed to show, uh, you know, we needed an American to win the race. The American, an American won the race. This is America. Wake up. If you go over to World Supercross with, with Jeff and Ralph.
if you want to start promoting your country. You're in America. Buckle up and strap in even smoking Joe Shimoda. Remember a few races ago, he put, I think, a 4th of July race or something. He's put I Love USA on him. He's from Japan. Joe, smoking Joe gets it, and he's the only one that counts. He's a eraser. So just because you interview a bunch of stars doesn't make you an authority in the subject, especially when it comes down to patriotism because you're not from the country, but you reside here. Welcome. We're glad to have you continue to blow the lid off it if you can. Clearly you can't because you're in the industry's pocket at some level. So you're restricted on how much you can do. You're getting talked to. So anyway, it's just kind of ironic to me because I did see a post from our boy, Mathis, over at Pulp where he, I mean, it was like a novel, dude. Like, I'm not going to go pull it because I, I just don't think, feel like I have to. But man, he went into some big thousand word essay explaining himself. Listen, friends, if you're confident in what you said or your position, you don't have to post anything. He felt the need to explain himself. Explain it, Lucy. Explain it. It's too late. The cat's out of the bag. The damage has been done. You may as well just run with it. Listen, my man. Listen, dude. Listen, here's the deal. You're, if you're not getting into some, some crap once in a while, you're not doing your job. Just own it. It's all good. This wasn't an issue. Now it's a bigger issue because you're trying to explain yourself. Now, you could what you really should have said is like what Bud Light said when they jacked up their brand. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. That's all you needed to say in final thoughts. I come to you as a friend, as a moto guy, somebody wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now? Shark infested. They're just shark infested and a lot of them with snowflakes and carrots. Not to say that our boy is one, but that's clearly a lot of people in the industry. I don't care what you said. I don't care to hear you explain yourself. We forgive you. Let's move on. This is Moto. If you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, you're in the wrong sport. Maybe go report on some ice hockey. I don't know. But I know in the meantime, Walty and others will be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video, along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video, and there's an easy subscribe button for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. I'll see you on the next video.